Hello, welcome back to the clinic. My name is Dr. Bailey, as you already know, and I will be doing your cranial nerve exam today. I'm sure you're very familiar with all the steps that a cranial nerve exam entails. We'll be checking your eyes, sense of taste, your ability to hear, your, your ability to smell, and uh, just the general feeling around your face with your olfactory nerve. So, Make yourself comfortable. Um, this is a very easy test, just following simple instructions. I'll be kind of going around uh, administering these different tests, so all you have to do is just follow my instructions. We'll be over before you know it. Um, for starters, what I want to do, as always, is check your heart rate and get a listen to your lungs, just to make sure that uh, everything sounds as it's supposed to. So. We're gonna do that. First, I'm gonna pop on some gloves. So, give me a moment here, okay. I just got a new case of gloves, so. Sometimes they can be finicky to pull out of the, the top there. But at least they give you a lot of them. You have a busy week plan this week, or are you pretty, pretty easy schedule? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I understand. It's uh, kind of a, a strange time of year between seasons. But it feels like it's getting a little warmer out, so that's nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop in the old stethoscope here. Good. Okay, coming over to this side now, just listening to your heart rate, listening to your lungs, just breathe normally for me, thank you. And in through your nose, deeply hold it, exhale. Good. One more time, deeply through your nose. Hold it. Exhale. Good. Okay, well, you will be elated to know that everything sounds normal there, okay? Now what I want to do is just take a look at your face. So, just look straight ahead. I'm just going to take a look, maybe feel around a little bit, okay? Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary uh, as far as any of your senses go? Issues hearing, smelling, tasting, trouble with feeling in your face, vision, anything like that? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take a feel of your neck here. Everything feels normal, so that's good. What I want to do um, also before we dive in is just take a quick look at your hairline and your scalp, just mm -hmm. to sort of have a basic understanding of the health of your, your head. So I'm going to come over to this side real quick and just take a really, a really quick physical examination of your hair scalp. Okay, 
Okay, now we're gonna check this side now. Okay, everything looks fine there. No issues at all. So you do a really good job taking care of your head and scalp. Keep whatever you're doing, keep up the good work. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started with your eyes here. So what we're gonna do is just take a look at your eyes, check your uh, pupillary response when I introduce some light uh, to it, as well as just uh, have you perform a series of follow my fingers exam um, and other similar things. So uh, really quickly, okay, just look right here at my nose. Don't worry about my light. Okay, I'm gonna introduce it to your field of view. So just focus on my nose. Good, same thing. Focus on my nose. Very good, my friend. I'm gonna have you take a quick look at this Snellen chart just to get a very, again, very basic understanding of your ability to see if there's any issues with this. I will recommend you to visit an optometrist to get a further understanding of what may be going on with your vision. But just while we're here, so I understand um, kind of how your eyes are operating, I'm gonna ask you to take a look at this Snellen chart. If you don't mind reading this fourth line down here. Good. Can you read this line? Good. Let's go down one more line here. Can you read this line? Good. I think you can try the very bottom line. Maybe read it right to left this time. Okay, very good. All right, so what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna cover one eye, take a look at your people there response, let me know when you're able to see my light in your eye, okay? Good. 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 Very good work, my friend. Same exact thing, other eye now, okay? Is this uh, causing you any stress or anything like that? You feeling okay? Good, good, that's what I wanna hear. Okay, taking a look at your other eye now. Same thing, focus on my nose here. Fantastic work, my friend. Fantastic work. Okay. All right, can you tell me what color you see inside this eye here? lines on the outside. What color do you see? Red. Good job. Okay. And how about with this? What do you see here? A little bit. 
piggy. Good, what color is the piggy? The piggy is pink. Yeah, good job. And one more of these little fun things. What color do you see here? And what do you see? What is this? A nice smiley face. Yep, yeah, perfect. Good job. Very, very good job. These things are very fun. Um, oh, I almost forgot. I do want to take your temperature just to see if you're running a temperature. You didn't feel like you were when I felt around your neck, but we want to be sure. So I'm going to go ahead and pop our um, thermometer out here. And we will go ahead and put a nice fresh cover on it. Things can be quite finicky. normal. Thank you for letting me do that. I'm sorry I forgot to do that earlier. Okay, now what we're going to do is take a look physically at your eyes. I'm going to go ahead and pull your eyelid down here, starting with your left eye, pulling down the eyelid and taking a look at the eye of. And also seeing if you're experiencing any discomfort when I touch around your eyes. So as far as me feeling around is concerned, is there anything that I'm doing that's causing you any discomfort at all? Good. How about when I touch around on your right eye here, do you feel anything that's causing you any sort of discomfort? fingers enter your field of view. Just focus straight here on my nose, okay? And you're just going to say yes when you see something, okay? Good. Good. Just like that. Perfect. Good. 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 How many fingers am I holding up? How about now? How about now? How about now? Okay. Here into my light, please. And I'm just checking to see the eye health again. Basic physical examination. Again, if there's any issues, I will recommend you to an optometrist for further investigation. But just as a general check here.
take a look at the right eye here. You're doing a really good job, by the way. Keep up the good work. Look right here in my light. Thank you. And come and look up to the ceiling for me. Thank you. Look down to the floor. And you have nothing to be concerned about with your eyes, so great job on that test. What we're going to do now is move to your sense of smell. And uh, very simple test here. What I'll be using is a scented solution. There's four different solutions here. Uh, they come in these nice little jars. I have them labeled. You can't see the labels, and I'll take a sample um, from this using a cotton swab Q-tip, and I'll place it in front of your nose. You'll take a nice whiff. Once you get a good enough smell, you will proceed to tell me what sort of fragrance uh, you're picking up on. Pretty simple. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and do the first one here. solution is sort of a creamy yellow color that's no indication of what uh, fragrance you'll smell. So go ahead and take a nice smell of that. Good. What do you think it smells like? Banana, yeah. Well, you would have guessed correctly if you, you know, thought it was something yellow, but I threw you off there. My apologies. Um, but yes, it is banana. Nice coincidence there. All right, same thing here. We're going to move on to scent number two. smell of that. What does that smell like? That one is vanilla. Very, very good. Good job. Like I said, these are very simple tests, so um, you're doing flawless so far, though. Keep up the great work. Place this jar over to the side. Grab our next one here. Fragrance number three, scent number three. What do you smell there? That one smells like strawberries. Yep, great work. The berry family of scents can be kind of difficult. They have to really exaggerate the strawberry smell, which I'm not sure how they do that, but sometimes people do say um, raspberry or something similar instead of strawberry, and I usually just say correct because they're very similar as far as the berries go, but let's uh, move on to scent number four now. And our cotton swab.
and go ahead and take a nice whiff of this one. What does that smell like? That one smells like coffee. Yes, fantastic work, my friend. More like a latte, but kind of a creamy coffee scent. Yeah, good job. Very, very good. Okay, well, your nose is working just fine. What I do want to do, uh, as always, is also take a physical look uh, into your nose and at your nose. So go ahead and tilt your head up for me. And I will take a look here. Thank you. Just gonna lift you. And don't worry if there's any boogies up there. Okay, I see them all the time. Gonna lift your nose here. And taking a look into your left nostril here. Good. Looking very healthy. And let's take a look at your right nostril here. Checking for any blockages or anything out of the ordinary uh, with your nasal passage. Everything looks fantastic there. I want to look at the uh, health of the nose as well. So just work out, take a feel there on the bridge of your nose. Do you feel anything there that's uncomfortable? All right, I'm gonna come over to this side now. Take a look at your other side here. So I'm just gonna feel on your nostril. Feeling on the bridge of your nose. And I'm gonna go ahead and pinch your nostrils together. Um, really quickly, not too hard. Just sort of try to breathe out through your nose here. Good, okay, great job. Um, what I want to do now is test your sense of taste. A lot of the patients find this part particularly relaxing and enjoyable because some of these tastes, uh, this taste test rather, is, is pretty delicious and it might make you a little hungry. So, um, I have here are a series of vials that do test your taste. Is what they look like and as to not uh, give up away with what this one tastes like I'm gonna cover the label but it's essentially just strands of paper that are already pre flavored So let's go ahead and start with this first one here. You ready? Yeah, all you need to do is just stick your tongue out. I will gently place this towards the back of your tongue where your taste buds are. You'll close your mouth, you'll take a moment, and then you should be able to tell me what you taste, okay? So tongue out really quickly, thank you. Good. And you can go ahead and put your tongue back in your mouth. Take your time. That one is plum. And I know that it's sort of a unique fruit. Grape is what I get as well, but that one is plum. Let's go to this next one now. This one is very obvious. It actually tastes very good as well. Okay, go ahead and stick your tongue out for me. Blueberry, yep, you got that one quick. That one's that one's very very obvious. Moving on to our third now. Okay, stick your tongue. 
doing that for me. Thank you. Yeah, that one's mango. Yeah, very, very, very strong. But it is mango. Okay, moving on to our fourth and our final taste. with that one. Yeah, that one's greens. So you could say spinach, salad, broccoli, anything like that, and you would get that one correct. So, yeah, good job. All right, let's go ahead and place this down here. I do want to take a physical look into your mouth. You're not going to like this part as much. It's only going to last a second, but I'm going to get a tongue compressor here to take a better look at the back of your throat. So I'll be using my flashlight as well. Go ahead and open your mouth. Stick your tongue out as wide as you can. And just taking a quick look. Okay. And I told you that one would be fast. Good job. Now I'm going to have you open your mouth again. I'm going to take a physical look with my eyes here. Okay, so just tongue out for me. Thank you. And can you put the tongue to the left side of your mouth? Good. Can you move your tongue to the right side of your mouth now? Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth now. Good. And stick your tongue out as far as you can. Great job. Fantastic work, my friend. And with that, we are three of five finished. What we're gonna check now is your ability to hear. Um, so with this one, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and I'm going to be moving from side to side uh, Doing a series of tests. Just follow my instructions. Very easy But again first thing first just close your eyes. Okay, so With your eyes closed, I'm going to come over here to this Left ear. Okay, I'm going to whisper a series of words into your ear And all you have to do is just repeat after me the words that I tell you Salmon, chocolate chip, olfactory, cotton, tumultuous, briefcase. Good. Now I'm going to move over to your right ear. We're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. After this, I'm going to test both ears at the same time using sort of glove sounds and we'll figure out which ear is doing better than the other. Okay. Or if they're the same, which is what we do want. So.
great job, my friend. That one's perfect as well. So what we're gonna do now is, like I said, do some glove sounds in your ears, so sort of like this. And it should be pretty obvious when you hear that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is uh, do that at the same time, but I'm gonna move my gloves further away, okay? Let me know if one or the other, one ear or the other rather, is unable to hear the glove before the other one, okay? So let's go ahead and give this a shot here. Okay, so it's pretty impossible to differentiate which one you couldn't hear first. Good. Okay, let's try that again. Good. And one more time. Fantastic work. Very, very good. Okay, what I want to do now is use my... Light here to take a look into your ears. Just coming over to your left ear here, pulling the ear down. And we're going to just take a look. Taking a look into the ear. Just looking for anything that shouldn't be there. Any excess buildup or redness or swelling, anything of that nature. Very good. That ear looks really good. So we're going to take a look at your right ear now. And I'm expecting to see the same thing based on your hearing, or ability to hear, rather. So should be no concerns here. Let's go ahead and take a look, though. Looking into the ear canal, looking for, again, any sort of redness, blockages, anything out of the ordinary. No issues at all there. Great work. Okay, what we're going to do now, and uh, again, another exam uh, that my patients tend to find more relaxing than some of the others, is feeling around on your face and testing your ability to feel on your face. So I do have a kit here that we'll be using. Uh, includes some soft uh, tips as well as some hard tips. And uh, we'll be testing your ability to, to feel on your face. You'll have your eyes closed again for this one. But essentially what it is is just a, a kit of tools here. So looks a little intimidating, but I promise there's nothing to be concerned about. So the first thing we're going to do is get a base understanding so that you know what to expect on this exam. Okay, what I have here is a feather and a more sort of coarse brush. So what I'll do is I'll brush your face with the feather. And then I'll do the same with our coarse brush. There should have been an obvious difference there. There was. Good. Okay. So with your eyes closed, I'll be doing that on different parts of your face. And you just tell me hard or soft. Simple as that. Beautiful. Okay. Eyes closed. Soft. Hard. Soft. Hard. Good. Excuse the noise if you hear that. That's just the uh, the gardener doing the weekly trimming around the windows. They pick the best times for these things. And then an airplane. But, you know, we can't control the sky, no can You're doing a great job, though. So let's go ahead and just brush the top there. Good. And good. Good. 
good. job my friend so it seems as though you have no issues with that sort of stuff that's good I didn't think you would but we have to check anyways okay so what I'm gonna do now is feel around your face with my hands so I'll just I'm gonna go ahead and just give your cheek a tap is any of that uncomfortable at all Discomfort there either. Good. How about your chin area here? And your forehead. Okay, well, that's a good thing. So, it is my pleasure to tell you that you passed every single exam we did here today with flying colors, and you have no issues at all with your cranial nerves. Well, I'm glad that that makes you feel better. If there's anything else you ever need, you know where to find me. And it was a great, great, great time to see you today. And I appreciate you choosing me as your favorite doctor slash ASMRs. I'll see you again very soon.